Hi guys, welcome to Guru Beauty. I'm Jodi and a big hello to everyone. Um, I wanted to do, actually this is a recreation of a look that I posted to my blog and Facebook page as well as a recent um, video. I think this is, yeah, the look that I was wearing in my October favourites video. So I've actually been wanting to try a purple and peachy look for the longest time. Whenever I see people's eye of the day or any kind of look with a purple lid and a peachy or orangey crease blended out, I love it. And I haven't actually, I don't think I've ever done it. I've been meaning to do it for a long, long time, but um, I finally did do it and I was asked by a few people to um, do a tutorial for this look. Again, I'm not a professional. I I just love makeup and I love playing with it so um, so just to obviously reinforce the point that you don't need all of these Mac eyeshadows um, you can find something in your own collection or a nice simple palette that may have similar colors just that I would give you sort of you know a color chart and show you what I've used for this look on my wrist before I get started so I did use the benefit creaseless cream eyeshadow in recess it's a little less pink than uh, Mac painterly paint pot did use the NYX jumbo eyeshadow eyeshadow pencil in milk max constructivist paint pot and then I have here I did actually use for the peachy colors a combination of Mac eyeshadows so I have here this is coppering arena and Samoa silk and I sort of used I dipped my brush in all three of them at the same time to come out with this sort of a peachy color this color is three of these combined that's what I used sort of in the crease color and then for my purples I used vibrant grape Parfait Amour and Stars and Rockets and you can see that they are quite different purples. Um, I did use, what's this one here, oh this is Embark, I used that to sort of darken up the outer corner, that's Embark and then also Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Ransom, that's just a beautiful purple, I used that on the lower right in between the lashes and then my lips here, this is the Ulta Mink Lip Liner the DB Milk Chocolate Lipstick and the DB Designer Brands Naked Glow Extreme Lip Gloss. So that's sort of the colour palette there just to give you an idea if you have anything in your collection, you know, resembling that or that you want to switch out for those colours, go for it. I hope that helps. I hope that you enjoy this look. This is really one of mine that I really like and I will definitely be doing again. Um, so without wasting any more of your time, uh, keep watching to see how I did get this look. Okay, so I have already applied my toner, serum, moisturizer, primer. Today my foundation is the Chanel Perfection Lumiere and I'm using that. I'm normally about a, an um, NW25. I'm using, using this one in the 30 beige. What I had heard on YouTube from Lisa SZ09 and Christine from Pink So Foxy particularly was that um, the lighter shade can kind of darken up a little bit. Um, I think without foundation it is better to err on the side of lighter rather than darker. Um, I have also applied my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I apply that on my eye every day regardless of any extra base that I'm putting down, anything like that. Today um, over that I'm going to be putting the Benefit Creaseless Cream Eyeshadow and that is in the shade Recess. I just wanted to show you, a lot of people would use um, use MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Just wanted to show you a comparison of them if you are looking at any other um, eye base colors besides the paint pots. That is Max Painterly Paint Pot there. You can see it's more of a pinky tone and this is the Benefit Recess. So because I'm wanting to put this down as a real definite color base, um, I thought this lighter color might be better for my eye. Next I'm just going to bring some brightness to the inner corner of my eye using the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. And I'm actually just um, brushing the end of it with an E25, a Sigma E25 brush, or like a MAC 217. And I just find when I put the pencil on directly and then blend it out with my finger, I always blend it out too much. And then, you know, it's as though I'd never put it there at all. So with the brush, I just find that it applies it in the first place, um, you know, in a nice, I like the coverage that this brush gives, not too much, 
not too little and blends it out at the same time. Now I'm going in with a fluffy tapered brush, but I'm going to use a combination of MAC Coppering, MAC Arena and MAC Samoa Silk. You could just use any kind of orange eyeshadow. I was just playing with colors and since I'm recreating this look, I wanted to stay true to you know what I had originally done. So a combination of those three colors onto the fluffy brush and we're just going into the crease. We're just creating that sort of base peachy color before we go in with that dark purple. I'm just tapping the brush lightly sort of in all three colors, tapping it off and then defining just above above that orbital bone crease here. Just keep blending it out. I'm going up quite high towards the brow bone, not all the way but almost. This is actually a step that I did before I applied the, um, the crease when I really did this look, but I'm actually going in with Max Paint Pot. This is in the color Constructivist. It's a really nice sort of brown color. I've just cleaned off that 217 that I used to put on the um, milk in my inner corner. And I'm just gonna put this sort of on my lid. Just creating a color base to set down that purple, giving that purple a little bit more depth. Doesn't matter that I'm doing it now rather than first because the orange really is above the crease and I'm not gonna be going above the crease with this constructivist. Just sort of placing it on my lid and blending it out. Okay, I'm gonna be using three purples today. We have here MAC Vibrant Grape. I'm going to be starting with that sort of in the inner half. I'm using a Sigma SS239 to pack down that color. So just picking up some of that Vibrant Grape and I'm gonna be placing it, as I said, in the inner half of my eyelid. brush over and I'm going to be picking up some of the Parfait Amour. That is Tiffany D's favorite purple, I believe. I'm going to be putting that in the outer half of the lid. Just creating a bit of dimension, a bit of contrast. Just patting it on. Don't have to be too precise at this stage. Now I'm going to be using a smaller tapered blending brush, this is Sigma's E45, and I'm going to pick up some of MAC Embark here, that's just a deep sort of warm brown, just going to tap the um, top, the point, into the product, tap it off, we're just going to use this to sort of define the crease a little bit more. So just really small motions, we're just going to blend, build up that dark colour. just to give the outer V some dimension, pick up a bit more product. Okay, and I'm just blending that out, making sure that is blended with my Coppering Arena and Samoa Silk, sort of orangey peachy combination above the crease. And now I'm just applying some of the Wet n Wild Colour Icon Single Eyeshadow in Brulee. Just applying that right up at the brow bone. I'm going to go back to that Sigma SS239 and now I'm going to pick up some of Stars and Rockets. Stars and Rockets is quite a sort of vibrant purple. I'm just going to whack that down. Uh, right in the middle of where those two purples come together and that is really you can see just that's a purple color that really gives you some boom bam it's quite vibrant stars and rockets I'm just sort of dabbing that right in the middle now for the the, the um, waterline I'm going to grab the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in zero I'm going to line the waterline and my tight line as well
With that done, I'm going to grab a, another Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On pencil. This is in Ransom. Ransom is just a really nice sort of vivid purple colour. We're just going to go sort of just between and below the lashes on the lower lash line just to give a nice vibrant purple colour base to the shadow that we're going to set that with. And I'm having a MAC day today, so I'm going to go in with the MAC Black Track Fluid Line. This does really have nice, long-lasting staying power. I'm going to apply that with my MAC 208 Angled Liner Brush, starting in the centre. Working your way out. Just making sure I have no skin showing through my lashes. And then I'm just bringing that down just to the very outer corner of my lower lash line just to make sure that that outer corner meets basically with both the upper and the lower lash line. I'm now going to apply some of my favourite new fake lashes. This is for you Aussie girls. Beauty Style is available in Priceline. These are their Glamour Lashes and they just have, as you can see, the varying lengths of lashes there. They're quite full and thick so they give you nice definition um, and thickness around the lash line and then you have nice sort of wispy length. Okay, now I've got lashes on and I've just put on some mascara just to help sort of join them all together and also on my lower lash line. I'm going to go in with some more of that vibrant grape colour just on a fluffy, fluffy tapered brush there. And I'm going to go right the way, almost to the inner corner. Getting some of that purple colour underneath the lashes. Okay, then I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Embark colour, that warm brown, just on the very tip of the brush and just on the sort of outer half, I guess. The neighbourhood is alive today. Love the weekend. Okay, and then I'm going to grab a little bit of the Stars and Rockets, this time just with a little, little tiny fluffy brush. And I'm just going to go right in the centre. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a little bit of MAC Gleam. That is Gleam there. It's sort of just a peachy, shimmery highlight. So we're going to be laying that down right down in the inner corner with that fluffy brush. We just want some glimmer and gleam down here on the lower side too. Now I'm just going to define my eyebrows using MAC's Charcoal Brown and this Eco Tools Angled Liner Brush. So I've just applied a bit of Inglot's uh, Corrective Illuminator Pence Pen, um, it's like the Touche Clart, under my eyes. I'm just going to set that here with a little bit of Benefit Powder Flage. You cannot pull off a colourful look like this with dark circles under your eyes, so we'll see what we can correct. Before I go on to the rest of the face, um, just because I can't resist, I'm just going to pull out a little bit of Chanel's Phantasmi. It's one of the Illusion Dombres. It's uh, the number 81 Phantasmi. When you are sort of swatching on your hand, it's like the patchiest one of all, but this is just a gorgeous glitter. The lady at the Chanel counter actually used it the other night um, to sort of highlight, even just up here. It just gives the prettiest sort of subtle but glittery highlight up here. Um, and on her clavicles, it was beautiful. I'll just tap it around to get a bit of 
shimmer and sparkle around the inner corner. Just going to set all of my face makeup with the um, Bare Essentials Mineral Veil. Going to use my Sigma SS182 Kabuki brush, particularly my T-zone, just to make sure that's set. Now I'm going to use Benefit's Hula to contour. I'm using the NARS Yichio brush. I love the shape of that brush. Just a small, lovely tapered blending brush. Just dip it into the Hula. Start pretty much at the top of the ear and blend out. Just to give the face some shape, dimension, so you don't all look flat after applying your foundation. Try and contour quite high. It's going to give you, the higher that you sort of do your contour, if you do it down here, it's not going to help your cheekbones look high. So I try and start like at the top of my ear and angle down, blend out. And then I try and keep this section here bare. I'm going to keep that for my highlight and that just helps again the appearance of cheekbones. I do bring the bronzer down below my neckline. Now I'm going to do a bit of a sparkly highlight. I'm going to use the NARS, um, sorry there it is, Hungry Heart uh, highlight duo. I know that the new NARS blush palette that's just come out for 2011, I'm just going to be using that sort of pinky colour there with a clean um, Yichio. Um, I'm not sure which of that duo is in the NARS blush palette. Next I'm just going to finish up with my blush. This is the Milani Baked Blush in 03 Berry Amore. I'm using my Sigma Powder Blush F10 brush. That is a real fluffy round powder brush so I'm going to use quite a light hand with that. Just dip. You can see just a close up it's got sort of gold veining in it. These are beautiful. If you haven't seen my previous videos about how much I love Milani baked blushes here at Here Now. They last all day. The colour is beautifully pigmented. Um, I would say they're as good as um, my higher end blushes. I love the sleek blushes and I do love these Milani baked blushes for you know they're the best sort of um, cheaper blushes that there are out there, I would put them right up there with my NARS blushes. I probably prefer them to my Benefit box blushes too. I am using the Ulta Lip Liner in the colour Mink. I'm just going to give you a swatch of that. That is Mink there, so it's a definite brownie, brownie colour. You could use the uh, Australis Gold Digger or you could use um, Prestige Mochaccino for this. The girl at MAC the other day, I went to the MAC holiday launch preview um, here in, Aust in Western Australia and she said I need to do my lip liner with my lips closed so I'm going to give that a try today. She was all about doing your eye makeup with your eye open and your lip pencil with your lips shut. I am using a lighter lipstick today so I'll just make sure that I blend the inner edge with my finger before I do go in with that lighter lipstick colour. And today I did include this in my October favourites. I'm going in with the DB, this is for you Aussie girls again, the DB, what do they call it, moisturising lipstick in milk chocolate. Okay, that is the Milk Chocolate over the Ulta Mink Lip Liner. And then lastly, I am sticking with the DB Designer Brands Extreme Lip Gloss. This is in the colour Naked Glow. And I did actually mention this as a favourite combination in my October favourite. So I hope you like it too. Just going to go into the centre. I find that everything gets goopy and pretty messy if I go right over my whole lips with my lip gloss. So lately, um, this was I think in one of uh, Corin and Encore makeup's tips recently, just stick to the middle with the gloss. And I've been enjoying that. So this one really is the finished look now with my hair done. I think I really like it. It's just a really nice, you know, that peach. Whenever I see pictures of purple and peach together in the eyeshadow, I just really love it. So um, I hope that you enjoyed this too. Before I go, I am actually going to come back with a few different lip combinations. Obviously, you know, you could wear this as a nighttime look, as a daytime look. I think with a nude lip, it's probably quite interchangeable. You could really gloss up this nude lip and make it look quite glam, darken up the blush, um, anything like that. But I just thought I'd try, just while I've got it on, just try on a few different lip combinations for you. If you have a preference, let me know down below. And uh, here we go. Okay, this is the first change up for the lip colour. This is using Max Cream Sheen in Everhip. 
Uh, this was from the Liberty of London collection. Again, this is just following on with a more vibrant sort of peach, just to bring out that purple peachy glow. This next look is using Max Amplified in Impassioned. Impassioned is just the most vibrant pink colour that I have. So this is if you're feeling absolutely wild and crazy and going all out with the colour. And then this is quite a sort of dramatic dark lip colour with the purple, but I think it complements it quite nicely for like a nighttime, you know, ultra glamour kind of look. This is using Rimmel's 120 Cutting Edge. So I hope that you liked all of the different uh, lip colour combinations. Definitely comment and let me know which one was your favourite. I would love to hear. And uh, wishing you all a beautiful day. See you next time.